Hello everyone, my name is Weltha, and today we're gonna make some dirty rice. So come on, come cook with me. Come on. Okay guys, so now that we have the vegetables washed, we're gonna um, chop up the cilantro first. We're gonna be adding the cilantro last, so. That would be the last thing that we put inside the pot because we want it, the cilantro to keep the color. So, and I wanted it to stay kind of big too, so we're not going to chop it up too. Okay, so now it's time for the red onion. So, let's slice it in half. Oh, I decided to bring me a little candle over here. They make me so happy. I love candles. Candles just make me happy. And candles love okay so we're gonna chop up the red onion okay now it's time for the bell peppers we're using the red bell peppers today so we're just gonna slice those bell peppers smells, smells so good also I'm starting to love the color red, as you can tell. <laughs> I love red. <laughs> but I'm starting to love, well, I've always loved red, but I love it when my kitchen is red. I love everything red in the kitchen. But I also like orange and yellow. But right now, I'm just in love with red in my kitchen. Oh my God, I just love it. Okay, so now that we have all the vegetables chopped up, we have the yellow onion and the red onion together, and we have some red bell peppers, and we have um, cilantro. So now let's go to the stove and get your ground beef. I have like a pound and a half of ground beef that I'm going to use for this dish. So you can use how much you want, but I'm going to use a pound and a, a pound and a half of ground beef. So let's go to the stove now. Okay. Okay. So now we're at the stove and we're going to add some oil to the pot just a little bit. Okay. So just add a little oil. And then you're going to get your ground beef. That's it. This is about a pound and a half of ground beef. Okay. stove on medium high right now. Alright, so now we're going to get some seasoning. Well, we're not going to put too much because the pack of that I'm using, is it has seasoning in it. Okay, so let's put some um, some red ground red pepper so onion powder and then we're going to use some black pepper Let's put some black pepper in there okay so we have the spices that we're using right now and we're going to let this cook I'm gonna get my wood spoon because I don't want to mess my pot up. Okay. So, let's just let this cook. I'm gonna let it cook all the way down. You can keep stirring it if you want. 
<laughs> let it sit for a minute and then you stir it afterwards. So, just that this cooks. So we're gonna let it cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna flip it over to the other side. Okay. Okay, so let's flip it over. Get in there. So, just let it keep cooking until your ground beef is all the way cooked, okay, you guys? I want my ground beef all the way cooked. This is going to be some really good rice that you can, um, it's called dirty rice. So, I bought a little box of dirty rice in the box. You know, when you go on the rice aisle and you see the, the rice in the box? And it has dirty rice on it that's the one I get so you just get that and then when this ground beef is finished cooking I'm gonna show you what to do with it how I do it okay so the ground beef is almost done and then what we're gonna do next is when the ground beef is all the way done we're gonna get the vegetables that we chopped up And we're gonna um, add the vegetables to this. So my ground beef is almost there. This rice is so good, you guys. You can make a whole pot of this and then you can take it to work. That's, that's what I'm gonna do for this week. I'm gonna eat on my dirty rice for work. My lunch at work. So now, the meat is done. So. The ground beef is ready, so now we're gonna grab the vegetables. We'll get the onions first, okay? We got the onions. Let's put the onions in there. Stir those up. This spice is gonna be so delicious. I mean, I really love eating this rice. Just keep stirring. Make sure it's all stirred up. Okay. And when I eat this rice, I don't need anything else with it. Okay. All right, now we're gonna get the bell peppers. Remember, we chopped up the red bell peppers? Let's get it. Toss those in there. Okay, and you just keep stirring. Look at those colors. I love the colors. I like for my food to look good because if it don't look good, I'm not eating it. I'm a visual eater. <laughs> okay. Let's spread it up a little more. And then we're going to put, put the top over it for a little bit. Okay, let it steam together. So right about now, we're gonna get the top. Let's put the lid over it. And we're gonna let it steam together. Okay, all right. So we're gonna leave the lid over it for like five minutes right now, okay? And I'll tell you what we're gonna do next, okay? Okay, you guys, so let's take the lid off. Okay. All right, so all the vegetables and the meat has cooked together. They all mushed together. 
you're a happy family now see <laughs> okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the the dirty rice pack remember I told you I got the dirty rice um, it's in a box so you just take your pack out and you put your pack in there we're gonna use three <coughs> that's one two Okay, and then you have to add two and a half cups of water for each box. So we're going to use, let me stir this up first. Then we're going to put six and a half cups of water. But first we're going to stir it all together. Okay, so I got my jalapeno peppers. You can use the fresh peppers if you want, but I have the the jalapeno peppers that I get in a jar. Just making sure. The stove is not dirty. Like everything clean, you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna add some jalapeno peppers in here. So see, I have the jalapeno peppers that I buy in a jar. And you just put those in there. Stir it up. Now you're going to go get your water. And I use three boxes, so I'm going to use six cups of water. Okay, so this is two cups. four cups. This is six cups. And then I'm going to use a half. And a half. Okay. Stir it up. And let me get a spoon and see if my if I need any more spices because I think we're pretty good with the spices. I think we need some just a little bit more onion the onion powder okay. and now you're gonna put your lid back over it and you're gonna let it cook for 25 minutes okay so let's get the lid we're gonna let it cook for 25 minutes. Oh, one more thing. Let's add just a little bit of butter because butter makes it taste so good and it's gonna keep you like a little bit moist. So let's get a little butter. Okay, so I have half a stick of butter. So I'm gonna put this half stick of butter in there. Then we're gonna stir it. And then we're gonna put the lid over it, okay? So now we're gonna put the lid over it. I'm gonna let it cook for about 25 minutes, okay? So put your lid over it. Okay, so now that we have all the ingredients inside the pot, we're gonna let it cook for 25 minutes. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna also put some, um, some beef hot links into this rice. So I have five beef hot links that I chopped up. Or I'm currently chopping up so get five beef hot links all beef and then we're gonna put we're gonna saute saute these on the stove in my cast iron skillet and then we're gonna add this to the um, rice also okay so now let's go to the stove and we're gonna fry it up a little bit okay so now we're gonna put a little oil in the skillet Okay, you guys, so now we're going to cook the, the hot links, beef hot links. Let's 
let that cook. I'm going to put just a little bit of seasoning on it. So I'm going to use the complete seasoning. Just put a little bit of that on it. <coughs> okay, so now it's been 25 minutes. So let's take the top off. So it's ready, but now we have to add a couple more things to it. So first we're going to add the beef hot mix. Okay, quick. And now we're gonna add the cilantro. So we just added beef pot link and cilantro. And you just toss it all together. Turn your stove off. Okay, so it's gonna be really good and spicy, just like I like it. And there you have it. <clears throat> okay, you guys, there you have it. You have the dirty rice. This is the way I make my dirty rice. There you have it. Dirty rice, made my way, well this way. I hope you like you guys. So this is the way I make my dirty rice. Okay? Take another look at it. It's so delicious. Let me try. Just a little taste of it. Mmm. It's so delicious. And it's spicy, but it's not too spicy. So yes, this is the way I make my dirty rice. So I hope you like it. Thank you. Thanks for joining me, you guys.